The Kenya Electricity Transmission Company Limited has completed the grid restoration project on the Loyangalani Susua 400 kilovolt double circuit transmission line. Energy CSOP and I, who commissioned the line, said the restoration would enhance the evacuation of up to 300 megawatts power from the Electrokana wind power plant. A milestone, he says, will significantly reinforce the stability and reliability of the national grid. Trevor Ngendo tells us more. A series of nationwide blackouts in 2024 exposed the fragility of Kenya's electricity network with investigations pointing to the collapse of transmission towers along the Loyangalani Suso line near Longonot. The damage forced the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company Limited to rely on temporal bypass structures, which led to frequent power interruptions and heightened concerns over the grid's reliability. Behind me is the Loyangalani Suso transmission line, now fully restored after months of repair. What this upgrade now means is that Kenya can now evacuate up to 300 megawatts of wind power from Lake Tukana, boosting grid reliability with cheaper and cleaner power. The restoration project involved the design, supply and erection of six new towers to replace the collapsed ones together with conductor stringing and optical ground wire installations. Works were undertaken by Emlec Engineering Limited under a contract signed in November 2024 at 46.1 million shillings. Temporary towers that you are seeing on our right were meant to just ensure that we can evacuate uh, at least uh, some power from Lake Turkana. It has been carrying the full load but uh, due to the constraint because one circuit is supposed to carry almost 200 megawatts. In so many instances, it has gone beyond the design of 200 megawatts, which is a risk we took as a company. Energy Cabinet Secretary of Piondai says the restored line will improve investor confidence and guarantee stable power for industries to support Kenya's drive toward industrialization. We have worked tirelessly to ensure that uh, everything is done to reduce chances or possibilities of national outages. What we have, what we have been left with are just local, localized outages. But even those ones, we have made a commitment over time, over time that whenever they happen, we must restore power in the shortest time possible. Ketrako Acting Managing Director Engineer Kip Kemboy Kibias notes that restoring both circuits has reinstated the N1 contingency, a vital safety buffer that enables the grid to absorb unexpected falls without triggering widespread outages, forming part of broad ongoing efforts to strengthen grid reliability and expand Kenya's transmission infrastructure. There were problems between Malindi and uh, Garsen and Lamu, and we brought one of the major with all reinforcement that you see here and even much more because we did piling towers and that was one of the major restoration we've done within this financial year. We are happy to tell Kenyans that currently we have almost uh, attended to all temporary structures like this and uh, from Ketrako site this was our last temporary uh, tower. Trevor Ngendo for Lunchtime News.